Training talks with uh, four Joe Walls and uh, before training at night, Joe. Um, just a, a look back on, on last weekend, the, the game against D side. Obviously, we saw the dramatic finish. What was it like to be to be part of the game and, and then watching the finale as it happened? I was good. It was uh, obviously unexpected when, when I'm watching off, off the ice because, like, you never expecting this team to score with nine seconds left when you're pulling the goalie with three minutes left. Yet it's almost a guaranteed goal for the other team. It's one to hundred that you actually score pulling the goalie with three and a half minutes left. It's not not a common thing. But... Well, that's it. For it to happen not once but twice, you see, you pull yeah. take it with three and a half. And Finn got the, the fifth one, and then we got the power play, took Jacob off again, worked around, and Rooney from the, from the hash marks, Rooney's not going to miss from there, is he? No, no, no. Not with his shot. No. Um, what was it like? We've, we've talked about this a few times this season with the, the team just that kind of have this kind of never never say die and they don't know when they're beaten they'll, they'll go to, as we saw on Sunday they'll go to the very last second to try and get something from the game and that's something that's kind of come from being thrown in last year as, as kind of the, the young guns and then growing into this season and it's kind of a, a, a good trait that the team developed yeah well we're all we're all young we're all hungry we all want to win so it just comes hand in hand you know we all want to win so we're all going to put 100 percent effort in like all the time so even at the end of games when it looks like it's lost we're still just gonna doesn't matter win or lose we're just gonna go out there and try with this yeah and the, the results particularly here at the forum this year have been have been excellent of the third in the league eight and two at home the the, the forum is is turning into that that fortress you wanted to be for your home games yeah yeah the crowd's helping a lot at the minute but I think us being third at the minute is really just a credit to what's been happening behind the scenes as well with all the young players coming through. You know, we've got a lot a lot of younger lads there, me included, but the older lads help out a lot when we need it and we couldn't do it without them. Yeah, no, it, it is noticeable. I say last year when everybody had the, the kind of learning and growing year, you're seeing the benefit because you've got that year of experience. Everybody's a year older, a year yeah. more experience. Even the, the really younger ones, I said, they've had that extra year of, of NIHL hockey and it, you're, you're kind of seeing the benefits. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, last year we, we came sixth, which was a, an overachievement from many accounts. No one expected we to do very well at all that year. And I think, if I'm completely honest with you, I think we've we done well last year considering where we were at. But to be in third at this point in the year, I think it's really solid for them. We can only build from here. And the final game of the year, the fixture, fixture gods have or haven't been kind, depending on your point of view. Uh, finishing with a, a derby game at Hillheads a week before Christmas. Uh, what's the thoughts going into Sunday's game? I always enjoy the Whitley games. I like the fans. I think uh, having the fans on your back sometimes quite nice. No pressure, nothing. They're always the favourites, but it just means that we can go out there and do and just play, and no one expects what to win. So it's always good when I play them. I, I like playing them 